Yeah. Yep. I want to show you how to permanently delete automation in FL Studio. You can do this in any version of FL Studio. So let's jump in it. I'm El Proto. This is all one Pro Studio. Let's go. First of all, I'm going to create an automation. You might go, this should be very easy, but it's not. In fact, it took me years to get this. Yeah. I'm going to create an automation here. I hit the middle button there to reset that to default. Let me create an automation. Right click, come to create automation. If I come to the playlist automation here. So I just want to show you something here. Check the movement. I remove this metronome here. Okay, you saw that's going down. Now the thing is, if I remove this automation, this is what happens. Normally, you should not make this fader. I have a video that shows why. I will leave it in the video card. Okay, once I hit play button, I want to hit the play. You see, it just jumps back. It makes this annoying jump back to this position. Here, which is what I don't want. I want to delete the automation and it goes. So, in order to permanently delete the automation, we have to come to this point here. The browser window, go to current project, then go to initialized controls and look for the automation you want there, then you delete it. So it's insert volume, but I'm not sure which of the insert volume it is. Okay, look at this here, snare. This here, snare volume, which is this snare volume. Okay, now I'll take it down and hit play. It's gone. The automation is permanently gone. Okay, I'll delete all this order because I want to show you something again. Because some of you might come to current project and look for initialized controls without creating an automation. So I'm going to delete all of them. And I'm also going to delete all automations here. Okay, there's an easy way to even do it. You just hit control, then select all of them. Okay, that's something <laughs> you can learn there. Hit control, select all of them, then right click, go to delete, and this comes up and you hit OK. They are all gone. Now, let's go to current project. Look for initialized controls. It's not there. Why is initialized controls not here? Well, it won't be there because you have to drop an automation. <laughs> no. Okay, I also have a video on how to select lots of mixer insert in FL Studio. I'll leave that in the video card too. Lots of things you can know about how to select. I want to show you why there is no initialized controls here. I'll just create automation clip. Normally, I don't automate this. In fact, let me bring in EQ, parametric EQ2. Let me just create an automation here to bring this one down. First of all, I hit my mouse wheel, just press it down to reset like this. I'll create automation here, create automation clip. Okay, it's here. You can now see the initialized controls. So without the automation, there will be no initialized controls. Let me just delete this. The automation has to be deleted here and from the initialized controls, then the initialized controls will be gone. So let me just bring in this. But if I delete the automation from the initialized controls and don't delete it from the playlist, this is what will happen. Look at it, the initialized controls, initialized controls here is back. If I delete this, first let me create the automation. So when I hit play, this is what will happen. This will come down. Okay. Now if I delete the initialized controls, and don't delete this the automation will still work like this yeah let me try the fader because the fader was the one doing those annoying things let me create automation with the fader so I'm going to delete it from the initialized controls to still be moving now let me delete it from here
Okay. That does it. So you just need to delete it from the initialized controls and from the playlist where you have the automation and it will be gone. Like this video if you like it. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I'm at Proto. This is all one pro studio. That's it.